Welcome to the Idea Lab. I'm Greg Gillismith and just wanted to give you a quick update on the container home that our students here in our architectural engineering program, uh, basically they did the design uh, last year and we've been doing the fabrication on this for the last year and uh, just uh, going to take you on a tour. So this is the final layout uh, that was developed and uh, what started out with uh, 14 different layouts that were presented by the students uh, in kind of a shark tank environment and they um, uh, then they kind of decided on or voted on their favorite features. So where to place uh, the bathroom and uh, do we need two sinks and what is the purpose of a sink and when you discover that you want to um, co-locate all of the plumbing you end up with a design like this where we're able to take uh, the largest diameter drains put them right on the end of the cabin so when the water comes in it's able to um, uh, have the shortest path in and back out again and then also with the sink here um, you know this sink is only four feet away from the bathroom so there's no need for a separate bathroom sink and the kitchen sink when you have such a small space so this is the kitchen complete with full-size refrigerator dishwasher microwave uh, cooktop uh, sink and then the dining area here uh, these are the cargo doors that can open up for alfresco dining and then the door into the bedroom uh, and this is an office space for two uh, two people and then a queen bed space over here uh, and that it does have a, kind of a second story with an attic up here. Uh, the attic is uh, 10 feet high at the highest point, five feet high here in the center uh, with these two windows uh, looking out uh, to the front. So, and there is a ladder uh, that goes up from the um, kind of the dining area uh, into the tallest part of this, uh, of this attic. So um, here's some of the framing details and um, I'm gonna take you outside for the latest tour. So this is being built uh, right here on the back lot in the um, Idea Lab, and uh, there is a uh, an alleyway here that just barely fits these two 20-foot containers. End to end, uh, in the future, they will be installed side by side. So here's that door that goes over to the bedroom, and I'm standing in the dining room right now. So we are on house power, uh, meaning the power is coming into our um, uh, meter panel in the back. And uh, so we're able to plug into the plugs and have a working dishwasher, working microwave, uh, lights, fan, and those kind of things. So you can see here in the kitchen side, uh, we have a spot for a trash, dishwasher, sink, and, uh, and our window. And then uh, this back here, just um, looking kind of nondescript, is our uh, bathroom behind the barn door. So you can see we've got uh, toilet and um, here is the shower. Now it's hard to get back far enough in the shower to see what's going on, but this is a um, uh, metal uh, roofing material that we're using for the shower. Uh, and it was low cost, durable, uh, and uh, we did all our waterproofing behind that, so uh, it was able to, uh, to be a shower. And then these are all, um, uh, you know, the full, full um, extension drawers, uh, dovetail joinery, uh, full uh, alder, uh, boxes so really great uh, durability uh, these are actually not granite countertops although they look like it uh, so they're a little bit lighter weight lower cost and uh, basically uh, trying to reduce the number of tools that was required to build this so uh, angle grinder uh, was able to be used on the backsplash on the shower on the actual container uh, and no welding uh, we were able to put this together with uh, just uh, drilling and bolting the metal uh, frames and window casings and jams together, uh, basically uh, carpentry tools. And um, um, then this is just, it's a wood countertop with a, like a Formica top. So that was just using woodworking tools, uh, basic electrical uh, work, uh, no tile, so no tile uh, tools necessary. This is vinyl plank flooring, so it's interlocking, insulated with two forms of insulation underneath. Uh, bringing it up about an inch and a quarter uh, below here. So it's kind of a soft, warm feel on your feet. And uh, this is planned to go in a snowy environment. So I wanted to um, uh, give it the best warm uh, feel that we could with, uh, with the materials we chose. And then this outside wall is insulated with uh, one inch of insulation on the interior. And then there will be two inches of insulation on the exterior, followed by metal siding on the outside of that um, of the metal container so that uh, the cold basically can't get to the metal container and pull the heat out. 
Uh, we still have our metal roof up here because this does have the attic above, uh, which will be the same uh, temperature, so we're not um, losing much heat to, um, uh, to our roof. And this wall is not insulated either because, again, the bedroom is just on the other side of that, same temperature. So that is uh, the, uh, the container. Uh, obviously, our real lighting uh, is going to be these LED cans like what was in the uh, bathroom, uh, and they require drilling holes through this um, metal top. And we don't want to do that until we move uh, the container and get it weather tight from above, and, and then all those can lights will be installed and this rope lighting will come down. So there'll be four can lights here over the kitchen, four more can lights here over the dining area. Uh, they're low profile cans, they basically mount to the container, and, uh, but they look just like a traditional uh, can light. So that's it from the container. We're um, now ready for our uh, final inspections and, uh, and then also moving this up to uh, the location in the forest. So stay tuned for more.